All right, we're coming to the stage now. Give it up for the very funny Freddie Grail, everyone. Hello, guys. How are you doing? I have to say, uh, I love being here, but you're making me a little uncomfortable. I've literally never been in a room with so many disgustingly young people. <laughs> it makes me feel really old. I had a little bit of a crisis at New Year's because I realized this was going to be the year that I'm going to turn 38. Yeah, and I was getting super depressed. And because I, I'm not even like a cool cat, I'm not a milk, I don't have a kid, I'm not like something cool that you can put in your phone porn site and then like, you can try like aging aggressive lady and like see what comes up. Uh, I mean, that probably exists, right? That's, that's a category, right? Um, yeah, so I was like, what, what am I gonna do? I should maybe go and talk to someone who is a female and even older than me. That's gonna make me feel better. So I went to, to my great aunt's house, she's 92. And uh, you know, she's lived in the same apartment since 1943. So you think there's not a lot of change in her life? Not true. Uh, last year she lost her one of her eyes because uh, she tripped and hit her head on the corner of a table. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta change it up a little. Also, she can't like, she can't walk anymore, so she has this wheelie thing, and she has like five people coming in in her apartment every day, like helping her to eat and shit and bathe. And I was like, I was sitting there, I was like, oh my god, this is so much more, you know, depressing. Thank God I'm only 37. This is awesome. <laughs> and uh, as I was thinking uh, about her, she's kind of an interesting person. She's 92. She she only had one. Uh, one boyfriend who died during the war, so and she was never married in our in our uh, family. That means you never have sex, and so she's a 92 year old virgin. I know, pretty underrepresented people group, right? <laughs> and uh, I was thinking about this, and then I was like, huh, is that what like young strapping Ahmed is thinking when he's like in the middle of the market square with the explosives around his his waist, and he's like, oh, should I press the button? What are the pros and cons? Okay, pros, I could stay alive, but I have to spend time with my slightly boring family, or I could push the button and get a bunch of virgins. Uh huh, I know what I'm gonna do. He pushes the button, boom, two seconds later, he meets my great aunt, one eye, hi, Ahmed. And my great aunt is like, dear Lord Jesus, heaven is amazing, I finally get to have sex. And Ahmed is like, Allah, what the fuck? This is awful. Uh, it's a match made in heaven, what can I say? I don't know if you uh, see what I just did there, but I put Christian and Muslim heaven together and thereby creating world peace. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I come from Berlin, and uh, Berlin and uh, LA are pretty similar. You know, people go there to pursue their dreams, and then they cry themselves to sleep every night. Um, but uh, in, in uh, LA, people work super hard. They're all like, yeah, I have like three jobs, and that's like really cool here. And in Berlin, it's like party city, so everyone's like, yeah, three parties at night, and then you're cool. <laughs> so I tried to blend in, you know, dressing like a teenager despite my age. Um, and so I'm like, yeah, I'm a total party girl. You know, I'm the dealer that I can text about MDMA. Um, but the problem is, whenever I do that, my, my phone autocorrects MDMA to mama. And uh, it happens so often, you know, I'm smart, so I'm like, oh, there's like algorithms, so that must mean that there's a super high, um, you know, demand for mama. And I was like, yeah, totally, I'm gonna start selling mama, right? So if you want mama, talk to me after the show. <laughs> if uh, you're asking me what the effects of it, in my brand, a little bit of a downer, so just so you know. Um, <laughs> Uh, I know that's like a ridiculous joke. You're all thinking, um, she's way too good looking to be a drug dealer. And you're right. <laughs> yeah. But um, I'm sad and lonely on the inside, so it's all okay. Um, that's also the title of my autobiography that's um, gonna come out very soon. Sad, lonely, but a little less broke than my 20s. It's, uh, it's a pretty gripping tale. It's all about actually my heroin struggle. Yeah, I know. Surprise. Um, it's, it's about the struggle of a white middle class heroine, me. Yeah, it's a, it's a grammar joke. I have a degree in lingu linguistics that nobody gives a shit about. Um, this is what you end up with. And, uh, <laughs> and I don't know, like, 
people think that uh, white girls have it easy, it's not true. You know, my, my life is pretty tough. Like, I, uh, for example, I don't stand out in class pictures. That's not cool. Um, also, like, I'm second born, and uh, I lost my lip balm today. Like, that's, that's tough shit. And um, if you really want to get into the psyche of a white girl, basically all you have to know is, like, the biggest fear of a white girl is that people might think that she's racist. I'm German, so it's like double fear, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you've had history. At least you know one thing about Germany, that's fine. Um, and so, super, uh, super scared, and that's like really difficult in a dating situation, because just imagine you're, you're on a date, and you're on a date with a black guy, but the problem is he is super boring, but you're never gonna say that, right? So when he asks you for a second date, you're like, um, I mean, yeah, why wouldn't I go on a second date with you? Of course, yeah, that's totally fine. But so you're dating 12 months, and, uh, and he's like, so pretty, like, you're such a lovely person, like, do you maybe want to get married? And you're like, um, yeah, why wouldn't I get married to you? Uh, and then he's like, pretty, do you want to maybe have babies? And you're like, yeah, why wouldn't I? And then you're like, Oh, wait, uh, yeah, of course, because white babies suck. <laughs> okay, that's my time. That's a great idea. <laughs>